going to miss some of that lid. No, I'm not green screening it, but we really do need to talk about where we're doing these videos. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hi. Hey, welcome back. This is episode three of I Bet You Can't Do That on a Chromebook. Jeffrey, Mike, we, we're going to talk about stuff. We're in Jeffrey's office. What do you call this place? I call it my office. Office? Is that, like, it's hard to see? Is that a problem? No, or? no. Okay. I'm really comfortable in here. All right. Just... All right, so the topic was kind of around audio editing and podcasting and things like that. You know what? Look at this. I didn't put the microphone in. That's probably better. Okay. Okay, now the microphone's on. Microphone's that was on. that was an ironic touch, since we're talking about audio, that I didn't I did that intentionally. Yeah, and now we can skip over the, your criticism about my office. <laughs> it was we a criticism. That part. It's a few a, questions. It was sarcasm. All right, so we each took a look at a, a thing that could work on a Chromebook in terms of audio editing and and or podcasting. So why don't you start? What did you have in here? I'm going to show, uh, or my research was on Soundation. I looked at a couple other things, uh, Beat Labs, but that was a problem with Flash. It just didn't work on all the uh, different platforms yeah. I tried. I didn't go real deep into this. My goal was if I can find something that substitutes for... Uh, for GarageBand, then I'm good. Yep. And if you want to go look for more, that's cool. But uh, if I could find one that would do that, GarageBand, we used a lot in the elementary school. I think I talk about this in my video, but uh, it's become more complicated. Like mm -hmm. they, Apple did that with everything, iMovie and iPhoto and so on. So it's a lot less elementary school friendly. Yeah. But I, I like their original format and. Um, it was, it was a great tool for kids. The question is, can I use a, find some kind of app in Chrome world that substitutes for the kinds of uh, applications I'm used to? And our school is an Apple school. We generally use for students Apple computers. So I'm looking at, can I find a DAW, a digital audio workstation, that substitutes for GarageBand? in the Chrome world? And the answer is yes. I'm on Soundation right now and the interface here is pretty easy. I'm trying to put together some loops. My focus is at the elementary level. That's where I teach, so I'm looking for simplicity. GarageBand used to be a nice simple interface and it's pretty complicated now. They've done this all across the board with iMovie and they nuked iPhoto. Applications that used to be easy for elementary students are now a lot more difficult. So this interface here on Soundation, S-O-U-N-D-A-T-I-O-N, not Soundation, Soundation, uh, is like the old GarageBand, and I really like it. It uh, just has tracks or channels on the left and then loops on the right, and you can drag them in and uh, do what you want with them. So I am going to add a channel right now, right down here, audio channel. And I'm just going to add a, another loop. Students love to do this and then add their voices. You've got a podcast right there. You've got some way for students to express what they've learned and add some background music. And it is wildly popular with kids. I work for, uh, generally with third and fourth graders, and they love this. So I just added a new loop into this channel. Let's see what we got here. I'm sure you'll admit that is one of the best tracks you've ever heard before. Uh, so short answer is this works just fine. Pricing is different. GarageBand is free when you're in the Apple world, but you know full well if you are in the Apple world that nothing is free and they're going to nail you in all kinds of ways with extra upgrades and retiring OSs and so on. So with the Chromebook cost and with uh, this app, you're gonna, your minimum here is $150 to get an educational license for 50 kids. That's their minimum. Uh, and you're going to need that because the free version is quite limited but uh, I'm I'm good to go here I've got uh, fourth graders working with this and it's uh, it's it's pretty good so I'm I'm cool yeah you're cool yodeling yeah you like the yodeling 
was a classic yodeling, or did you? There are uh, several options in Soundation for yodeling. I, it's a German group that puts this out, so their free loops are classical German kinds of things, I guess. Okay. Uh, hey, yeah. great, but okay. great tool. I, I like your, I, I will give you a compliment. Um, the focus on simplicity is key. I think a lot of people want to use audio, and audio can be really complicated, or it can be really simple, and I, I think you found it. So I did something called Anchor FM, which is kind of my new obsession with podcasting. And Anchor FM is also simple, um, but it's a way to do podcasting uh, using your mobile phone or Chromebook or whatever computer. And it's they've really boiled it down to the simple components. Um, I don't go too much into the editing details in the video, but I'm following. I'm planning on doing a follow up to that. Ooh, look at that cool lighting effect there. Hey, I'm here to talk to you about Anchor FM. I'm kind of on this Anchor FM kick lately. Uh, this is really. I'm sorry, I'm having all sorts of problems. Um, one of the things that we often hear can't be done on a Chromebook is podcasting. And I will admit that up until this point, up until recently, I would have agreed with that, that it was pretty challenging to do it well on a Chromebook. But now with Anchor FM, it doesn't really matter. Anchor FM is a mobile app, but it also works on desktop, that allows you to create podcasts and does several key things really well to get you around any issues. So I'm going to walk you through kind of the the desktop version, but the, the the real magic is in the mobile version. But let's go um, check some things out. So let's, if we want to create a new episode, we can go here, we can record right on the computer. We can uh, add messages that people have submitted to our podcast. So people can literally call in and leave audio, and that can go into your show. You can use audio that you used in the past. You can add transitions. So all of those key elements that you want in a podcast are there, right there, really easy to do. And by the way, you can do all of this on your mobile phone too. But it also works on Chromebooks. It works on any uh, device that's going to access the website. Now, here is the thing. Is this going to sound like Radiolab? Probably not. Is it going to be pretty close? Yes. If you really, really, really want to get into detailed editing of audio, you can still do that, and I recommend you upload it to Anchor. And here's why. In your Anchor account, it automatically hosts your podcast, which is always a very challenging thing for people that are doing podcasts to set up on their own. This app, Anchor FM, will set up all of these hosting sites for you. You don't have to do a thing. You just start using Anchor. So the podcast that we've created is shows on Anchor. It shows the Apple Podcasts. It goes to Google Podcasts. It goes to Spotify. It goes to Breaker. It goes to CastBox, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Stitcher. And they keep adding. And I didn't have to do a thing. So that podcast is already distributed to all of these platforms. And I haven't paid anything. It's all there. Um, and so it's nice, it's simple, it's clean. You can use your phone for all of the audio recording. You can have people call in. You can call and record a phone call and make that your whole podcast episode. It's so versatile. It works on a Chromebook, works really well on a Chromebook. I recommend you check it out, anchor.fm. There you go. That looks super. There's a couple of things I didn't really get into. When yeah. you do the actual recording, it's very simple, similar to what you did in terms of here's the audio blocks and move a block here, move a block here. Another thing I didn't talk about is if the audio is a certain length, I think it's one minute or less, it does a, tran a transcription video of the audio. So you know those videos you see with the sound waves? Yeah, and yeah. It does the words and the transcription <laughs> for you. Um, and so there's just a lot of benefits, really simplified. And as anyone that's trying to do a podcast knows, the hardest thing is where do you put it? Because if you keep it in Google Drive, that kind of works, but you can't put it on a website easily. You can't do this stuff. But this, you can do a school-wide podcast, and people can subscribe to it and hear it on 100 different sites. That's, that is amazing. And the fact that they already have that filled out for you once you set up an account. Yeah. Uh, and you don't do anything. I don't. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. No, it's incredible. I also like the uh, the create your episode. Just four simple blocks. Here's your sources. Record it. Yep. Phone in messages library. And I, forget, I can't read transition. So that's just audio transition. Yeah. So little yeah. little pieces of music like your yoga. Yeah. But I love it when an app puts everything right there. Yep. Color easy to see. 
uh, especially when you're thinking about students using this. Yep. It's a one page shopping. You're done. So there's Great. two excuses knocked out of the water. You can podcast on a Chromebook and you should start doing it now. That's what I think. <laughs>